Hey there, YouTubers. It's a, uh, the Vingoog. Another base tutorial. Today, I'm going to be covering, not covering, but teaching you fellas, uh, Come Together by the Beatles. Um, very good song. I really like this song. Um, it's probably one of their most popular songs. Since it's in the, uh, uh, I think it's the rock band version of the Beatles, and they have that as the uh, intro, like the little rock band thing for the Beatles. But um, anyway, um, I will show you guys. There's um, there's three parts, but then there is a uh, solo, a guitar solo. Personally, that uh, that's anyone's opinion, because. It can be played with, I mean, it can be played a lot of different ways. But I'll show you when we get to it, what I play for it. First of all, got the intro, of course. The uh, intro starts right when it, right when the song starts. Um, the intro goes through, uh, the intro goes through first four times. And then the singing starts. And then you do another four times. So it's the intro and verse. You play it a total of eight times, and then I'll show you the uh, the kind of the second half of the uh, verse. Um, okay, to start this song, you start on the fifth fret of the A string. You play that twice, and then you go on the uh, D string on the seventh fret. And you play that once, and you slide down to the twelfth. And put your finger on the 10th fret, play on the 10th, on the G string, and then back to the D string on the 12th fret. So you got... One more time. That's the intro. You play that through eight times, and then you'll probably hear the difference in the singing, and if you listen, you can hear the bass go down as well. All that happens is he plays this uh, twice, by the way. He plays this two times. And it starts with, it just, it's, it's just what you, we just played, except we move it up a string. So you go fifth on the E string, on the fifth fret, and then on the uh, A string on the seventh fret, and then slide it to the 12th on the 10th on the D string and then back on the 12th on the A string so it sounds like he plays it twice and on the second time you play that that part he just goes after it just one on the E string on the 3rd fret plays it just once and then it goes back to the intro and you do the intro and that little other you know the deep one he does that um, twice is the same thing so it goes intro verse and then the other little the other half of the verse intro verse other half of the verse and then the chorus and the chorus goes you're on the seventh fret, on the uh, E string, you play that six times. Twice on the E string on the fifth fret, and then four times on the third fret of the E string, and then back once on the uh, fifth fret of the E string. So you got. goes back through the intro. Um, so that's everything. I'll, I'll do a little review for you. The first half of the, uh, the, uh, intro and verse, if you like to call it that, it goes, whoop. And then the second half of the verse, it's played twice. And 
that's that's the second half of the verse. That was the actual one. Then you got the chorus. Um, and then as I told you, the guitar solo. The guitar solo, because it starts out, it plays the uh, intro four times, and then it starts a solo. What I do is I just go, th I just keep playing the intro. And, the, well, the verse, if you want to call it that. It doesn't play the second half of the verse, though, so don't play that. Unless, you know, if you feel that's comfortable for you. Because, I mean, it's, it, it's your call if you want to do that or not. But uh, that's what I do personally. I do the intro and the verse uh, throughout that guitar solo. Because I feel that it fits. Um, and that's it for Come Together by the Beatles. Um... You know, if you if you need to, you know, if you want to, I don't know. It's a very good song, very good song. I enjoy uh, I enjoy the Beatles, and uh, this is one of the songs that really uh, one of the songs that I really like. I really uh, wanted to learn, so uh, I uh, got a little review by uh, D Man Lamia seventy six. Um through his tutorial and uh... this is that's what i showed you um... was his was his version of it um... and it fits very well very well i like it but uh... so uh... that was uh... come together by the beatles i uh, hope hope you learn it it's a very good song i enjoy it um... so probably have another tutorial coming out pretty soon by uh, Super Drag. It's called uh, "Sucked Out." If you don't know what that song is, you should. You should. I recommend you look it up because, personally, it's one of my, probably one of my favorite songs. Personally, because it's a very, very good song. So that'll be the next tutorial. So I'll catch you on the flip side.